G'day, Peter here from Window Cleaning World. I want to show how to change the resin um, on a small tank, which is pretty much the same for a larger tank as well. And we'll also talk about when to change a carbon filter. And I just normally hold it with my feet at the bottom and then unscrew the head. Now I can gently pull the head off and the riser is still inside the resin. Now I don't want to spill any of these little plastic beads because they're basically microplastics and you don't really want them ending up down in the stormwater drain or wherever you're doing this. I'm going to ever carefully just rinse that off a little bit. So I've taken the riser out. And now you want to have a bag that um, holds the little resin beads but lets the water out. So I'm going to try it here with one of our shopping bags. So, you know, a green shopping bag that you can get anywhere in a supermarket. Um, should do the trick. The other bags would be like a, a, uh, a woven agricultural type bag. They're usually white. You can get them at Bunnings. Might just put a bit more water in there so it comes out a bit easier. Give it a bit of a swish. There you go. It's pretty much all out. We can see the water is actually coming out of this bag and it's acting as a sieve and trapping the actual resin beads inside. This can just be left somewhere um, until the water's run out um, and then you can dispose of that in the bin. Okay, the other thing that we can do is check the carbon filter. So this little wrench here helps undo the carbon filter housing a little bit and I often get asked how often do I have to change the carbon filter. I would visually inspect it and at about that point this one's kind of rusty coloured. This one, to me, looks like it needs changing. So you grab your new one, make sure that the rubber O-rings haven't fallen off because they, they can just pop off. You definitely need these rubber O-rings, or not O-rings, but yeah, these, these seals, these rubber seals. You simply screw it back on. If you like, you can use the wrench. Don't go too tight, but you know, nice and snug. Now, the other thing that's important, if I pop this top basket off, this basket is there to stop any resin escaping out should someone make a mistake and running the water in reverse. So this keeps the resin in the tank. So it just pops off. It's like a little bayonet fitting. But inside there, there's an O-ring. There's an O-ring in here that we lubricate before we send them out with the silicon grease. It's very important that it forms a seal with the pipe. So we have this really nifty filter that has a little cap on the inside that covers the riser pipe. So we pop that over the riser pipe and now I kind of drop it so that the uh, riser pipe is smack bang in the middle. I also also like to use a scoop just so that I don't make a mess. So don't be tempted to pour it directly out of the bag in here because it's going to end in tears. This could fall over and you'll have resin everywhere and it's not cheap stuff and also we don't want it going down the drain. Now okay, microplastics. So I'm just doing a scoop at a time. Might bring it a little bit closer to the barrel here. Give it a little shake. You could also poke it down with your hands. It's quite safe to touch. Just wash your hands before you touch your eyes or your nose or your mouth. There we have it. It's filled up. But now the important thing is you can see there's a few little resin beads here. Now I don't want them to get caught in that o-ring that I spoke about before. So I'm just going to wipe that clean with my finger. Just remove those resin beads. I also don't want any resin beads in the thread. If you somehow had resin beads um, in, the, in the thread, you could also use a hose to, you know, to, rinse, to rinse it clean. Okay, so I'm going to 
going to pop the top basket back in. So that's securely in place. Now, due to this funnel design, the riser pipe is smack bang in the middle. So all I have to do is place it over the top, make sure it's not cross-threaded, and then simply turn this back on. And the important thing is, this is where the water goes in. It gets pre-filtered in the pre-filter. It says in and out, and in and out here. So this is where your pure water is coming out. We're going to test this now. Takes a little bit of time for the air to, uh, to come out. You don't have to run the hose, uh, the water, very high. So normally a quarter of a turn, so that's, that's, that's a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that down a little bit so that we can test the TDS. Let's fill up the little reservoir. Turn the TDS meter on, and you can see it's zero, zero, zero. Um, we can see what the actual tap water is. It's coming out of this hose. That is currently reading 94. So it's brought the TDS from 94 down to zero, and so you're ready to go. This is like an on-off valve, so you've got to tap if the main tap is a long way away, this is another opportunity to turn the water on and off. You can see that this is quite light to carry, big comfortable handle. So there you have it, how to change the resin on an 8 litre tank.